Guys, the meetup got out of control. We're trying to get people supplies, but no one is like really cooperating. It's somewhat working. We're trying to get people over here. Let's go, back up. Good morning, Jake Paulers. A lot happened today. I'm exhausted. I'm delirious. I'm filled with uh, passion and emotion. We are currently in Texas, and what is going on here is absolutely mind blowing. Literally, right now, I'm in a Jake Pauler's house. This is where I'm sleeping tonight because that is how random this is. I haven't slept in like over 24 hours. It basically started last night. We were trying to gather as much intel as we possibly could. Oh, roll the clip. Thank you for the flashback, Jake. Uh, guys, we just got on the highway. The start of the 22 hour drive. We don't even know what city we're going to in Texas yet. You're officially on the journey with us. Uh, madness is going to ensue. We're coming, Texas. We're coming. So we're only a couple minutes into the trip, guys. Some of the Jake Paulers are already reaching out to me. I have friends in Houston. People are hitting me up. We're getting the scoop. We're getting the deal. I think we have a game plan on what we want to do. But this is from my friend Christina, who is currently in Houston and is like volunteering with the fire department. She is also an influencer herself. She sent me this voice memo. I don't really know where to begin. Um, it started on Friday night. Um, and basically the whole city is underwater. Anything that you've seen on the news, it's actually worse in real life. I don't think I've ever been able to see that in real life. Um, they just evacuated the neighborhood next to mine today. My aunt lost her house yesterday. That was pretty devastating. Um, we had to go pick up my grandparents uh, the day before yesterday because they lost water and power. Most of my friends have um, moved into some kind of a high-rise or staying with other people because um, today they actually cleared out two of the dams. So if you can imagine, like, the dams that hold all Guys, the city. Guys, these people need us so badly and they are, like, sitting there helpless, like the shelters are filling up. It's a lot worse than, like, what it is on the news. We need to flip and get there. Guys, let's go! The sun is coming up, people. That is how long we've been driving. I'm, I'm blood shark, blood shark, go. See on these roads, kids, every car is blood shark. It doesn't. It's not even a Tesla. Okay, it's going. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. I got it. And so now you guys are back with me, um, and I want to say what's popping. I want to say what's Gucci. I want to say good morning, Jake Paulers. I want to make sure you're dabbing on the maters. I want to make sure you're smiling, and I want to make sure you guys are working hard because we are out here flipping, grinding, flipping, getting it. For real though, what's up? We're like legit in a Jake Paulers house right now. Yeah, bro. I never. This is pretty random. It's weird, right? It's, it's, dude, honestly, in the middle of Texas. Yeah, bro. It's in, we're in the middle of Texas in a in, in a Jake Paulers house. That's lit though. I met him at school. <laughs> Hey, Jake Paul was at my house last night. Watch the vlog. Watch the vlog. But anyways, guys, then uh, we had to get U-Hauls because the whole point of this entire trip was to bring supplies and basically anything that family is needed and, and to help in any sort of way. And so I got on the phone and started getting U-Hauls to basically get a lot of supplies into them and to really help families. Just to clarify, so it's two U-Haul trucks, 20-footers. Um, with two dollies, and we'll be able to pick them up at six o'clock-ish. You got it, yes Perfect. sir. All right, thank you. This is where the Jake Paulers came involved, man. This is where it got extra savage. I tweeted and Instagrammed that I got two U-Hauls and I was gonna meet everyone at Walmart later and just roll the clip. Guys, so we just tweeted an Instagram story that we were gonna meet all of the Jake Paulers and anyone in the social media community in San Antonio into a parking lot later tonight, which you guys will see in this vlog. So hopefully they show it strong. We're gonna try and fill the two U-Hauls that we got. I think we can do it. We have a couple of missions to complete. We still have to fill up the U-Hauls. We still have to get a Sea-Doo or a boat. 
of some sort and then we still have to make it all the way to Houston uh, hopefully all the way today and then from there we will be able to deliver the supplies and rescue these people from their homes Texas, Texas. okay guys oh. guys we made it let's go and so then guys we made it into Texas so we made it to El Paso Texas Kate is a vegan and so Texas is not the place for him. We should have like, El Paso on this place. They were like, yo, you want some potatoes? I was like, I can have potatoes. They're like, you want a little butter on it? I was like, I know it's not vegan, but we'll have a little butter. <laughs> Turns out, this is butter soup. Oh, shit. Texas is the home of the steak, let me tell you. They got the NASCAR all the way up there. We are immersing ourselves into the Texas culture. Chad has a corn on the cob and some, <sighs> and some beef brisket. I'm like water bottle flipping over here. Guys, the Harvey helpers are out here, the Fantastic Four. Honey, you hate it. You sure you don't need some more butter for that? <laughs> well, I, if I did, I don't need any more now. Everything's bigger in Texas. I really wish we El paso on this place. That's the, you're not punny, Chad. I'm about to El Paso from all the butter on these potatoes. <laughs> I feel like, I don't even know what I feel like right now. Why do I got so much butter on my hand, bro? Because <laughs> your corn is dripping. Have you ever seen that guy that eats, that eats the corn really fast and his teeth come out? He goes, <laughs> and the teeth come out, he's like, Guys, come on, we need to go to Houston. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And then, guys, the next part of this whole entire mission, which is, like, so tragic, and, like, the main reason we came here, is we had to figure out how we were going to be able to, like, help rescue families and uh, get them to safety. There are dozens and dozens and hundreds of hundreds of people. I'm still getting texts right this minute that there are five, four or 500 people stranded in their homes in different neighborhoods. And so... We had to figure out how to get a boat or like a watercraft of some sort. Roll the clip. Okay guys, so we are trying to figure out like how to get a, a watercraft. We are trying to find boats. There's like no boats available. And so we might have to like go to and get sea dudes to be able to rescue people. They said that they need more people. As many people as they can get out there like rescuing people. Especially when it hits Louisiana, we might have to go down to there and, and help there as well. So we're going to try and figure out what to do and what boat or sea do or something, some, some watercraft to get so that we can help rescue people. But then guys, we kept on seeing military personnel on the road and it shows like how serious this situation is. While we have been on the road guys, there's all of these like Hummers and like military convoy vehicles that are driving down the highway clearly all going to Houston they're all like these people are dressed in their like full marine outfits look at so I don't know if they're like army reserve or what they are but uh, they are going to Houston as well and there's like thousands of these Hummers and stuff and giant army vehicles it's absolutely insane water they have these like giant trucks they're all down this highway. Look at that. Every single one of these. And then, uh, yeah, we, we ran out of gas. Oh, my God. We may have run out of gas. It's a full NASCAR pit stop here. That's how we're doing, huh? That's called going naked. Next clip. And then we made it to the jet ski guy place. Yeah, hmm, Sam, roll the clip. A jet ski watercraft. Oh, guys, I am so excited right now. We found a Sea-Doo dealership who is helping people get sea doos so that they can go rescue people in Houston. And now we have mobiles to be able to go and rescue people. This is absolutely insane. Attached to the back of the truck. We're a full blown mission right now. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what to, to see or what's gonna be happening. Uh, but uh, my prayers go out to all the families out there and, and anyone who's being affected by this. And hopefully we can be able to help mend it in any way possible it starts with one person um, and you guys can help out too so thank you guys so much for supporting us through this and then finally guys we picked up the u-hauls and it was time to go mobile and activate the jake Paulers and collect as much food water blankets diapers amenities as we possibly can to be able to ship down to houston <laughs> we're all killing it guys i'm exhausted haven't slept yet. I've like taken little naps in the cars, which is not an excuse because there are people, literally like 10,000s of people in stadiums who are just piled up on top of each other. who don't have food and water. So they're going through a lot worse. And this is what it's all about is 
us making sacrifices so that those people can benefit. But the good news is, is that we just picked up these two U-Haul trucks. Now we have a full squad. We're about to meet up with the Jake Paulers who are hopefully gonna be able to help us fill these U-Haul trucks which we can drive to Houston. Jake Paulers are gonna show out. Yo. We need another one, bro. I know the Jake Paulers are strong. But hopefully we can fill this up and get some supplies to Houston ASAP. Yo, the convoy is out here. Check it out, guys. Booming on our way to Walmart to meet up with the Jake Paulers who have supplies. Someone said that there's a lot of people there. I don't know, my dad's calling me. There's a lot going on, guys. I haven't slept, I'm starting to get delirious. Yo. <laughs> Stay back, yo, stay back, stay back, stay back, stay back. Oh my lord Jesus. This is scary, I just don't want anyone to get hurt. This is insane. Guys, the meetup got out of control. We're trying to get people supplies, but no one is like really cooperating. It's somewhat working. We're trying to get people over here. Let's go, back up. It's like out of control. We're filling up the U-Hauls, which is good. We're getting the supplies, but... Everybody away from uh, the vehicles. It's just like, it's really chaotic. I'm scared. All right, guys, so that got really chaotic, but it was super successful. Check this out, yo. A whole truck full of water. And not just one, but two trucks. And now, guys, we are unloading it onto these pallets and into this giant warehouse. Tomorrow, individuals and people with like lighter cars and more pickup trucks are all gonna drive down and give the water and blankets and everything that the Jake Paulers got to the families in Houston themselves. So this is where they keep all the food overnight. But this is like so amazing guys. The power of the Jake Paulers is unbelievable. And this is just two trucks. We have to go back and get more still at Walmart because so many of you showed up and I know it was a little bit chaotic but we were doing such a good thing and we're all coming together as a community and I cannot thank you guys enough for helping me with this. These families like seriously, seriously need us. And so guys, uh, it has been an insane day. Life changing experience. These people like seriously need our help and it's so different to be on the ground floor of something and watching it all go ha happen and, and listen, literally talk to people whose lives and, and families and houses and dogs and stuff have literally been taken away from them. Like that is why we are out here. And if you're watching at home and you can't get involved and you're not in the area, what you can do again is we made these pieces of merchandise for you guys to be able to buy it and 100% of the proceeds are going towards Hurricane Harvey victims and to repair buildings and help in any way possible. We also set up a GoFundMe page. The link is in the description, guys. We've already raised over $50,000 with all of these forces combined. This is absolutely incredible. You guys are the strongest army out there and together we can really make a positive impact and change. I cannot thank you enough for the support during the, all of this. Like I'm literally, like you guys are the Jake Paulers and I'm literally staying in a Jake Paulers house right now. Life is full circle. So thank you guys so much. And thank you so much for being a part of this journey. Tomorrow is the day, is, is like the true day where we actually are going into Houston. I don't know what we're gonna see. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm scared. Uh, but we're gonna do our best. So Jake Paulers, always smile. Always dab on them haters. Always work hard. Always help others when they are in need. And I will see y'all tomorrow because it's every day, bro. Peace. Jake Pollers, what's poppin'? Check out this new merch. Ooh, that merch is hot, boy. New items of merchandise. Limited time. Click the link. Make sure you're subscribed to keep up with my life on a daily basis. And if you want to see more content, check out yesterday's vlog because it is super lit. Plus, I have a second channel, Jake Paul 2, which you guys can subscribe to right now. And if you want to see more content from everyone in the house, our group channel is called Team 10. Check it! See you guys tomorrow. Peace!